Now the cool thing about having numbers within your tables, if you want to do some basic calculations like adding up a range of cells or averaging, all you have to do is go ahead and click within a cell, like for example I've got for quarter one, my internet and catalog cells that I want to add up, not within my head because I could make a mistake here, but let Word do it. So come up here, click on the Layout tab, go to the Data Group, and there it is. Click on Formula, and it's going to add a function or a formula into the cell down below. What kind? Well, by default, Word assumes it's going to be the sum function. You can go ahead and change that, which we'll go over in just a minute. But the sum is to add up a range of cells. What range? Well, everything above the cell that we're currently in. So we've got these three cells. Well, it won't add up a cell that has text within it, so just these two. So once we have that formula set, how about a number format? So the results of what it adds up above will include the number in this format. That contains a dollar sign, a comma, if it's in the thousands, two decimal places, and if it's a negative number, it'll put it in parentheses. So I'm going to choose that number format, click OK, and boom, there we go. Now when I click it within that number, notice how it shades it. That means that that number is dynamic. It will change, not on its own. In other words, if I come up here and I make a change and I say, OK, we only made $1 for the catalog sales, Notice how it doesn't automatically update this to 3,155. So to do that, just go ahead and right-click on that dynamic number and go down to Update the Field, and boom, there we go. Updates it for us, and that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and do it again. After I do it one more time, I'll show you a shortcut. Let's come over here for quarter two. Come back up here on the Layout tab. There it is, Formula. Click on it. Again, adding up the range above it. Let's choose the number format. Click in here and go down and choose that one. Click OK. Now the shortcut, let me click over here is the F4 key. Now we learned this in an earlier training video when it came to applying formats that once you like take some text, select it, and underline it, you go to the next text, select it, you hit the F4 key, it'll underline it as well. It remembers the most recent action that you performed. In this case it remembers us inserting a formula into the cell and it's the sum formula. So if I click in here and hit the F4 key, boom, it copies that over. That was the last action that I performed. So I want to make sure that when I hit the F4 key that the most recent action is the one that I want it to copy over. So I don't do anything in the meantime, I just come over here, hit F4. Let me come over here and let's go ahead and add up the range to the left hand side now and see how that works. Come back up here, click on the formula button. Notice how it says sum to the left. Word can actually smell numbers. So instead of detecting numbers above, it can smell them over to the left hand side and so it's got the sum function adding up everything to the left hand side. Well, except that cell that contains text. Then we can go ahead and choose the number format, which is going to be the same. Click OK, and cool. Now, what if we want to do some other function instead of just adding up a range of cells, like let's say averaging a range of cells? Then let's go back up, click on Formula. And you saw that I clicked in that cell down below, so I want to average up this range of cells, quarter one through three for the catalog cells. And instead of the sum, let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and see what we got. You can scroll through, it's not much. You want to use the Excel program for that, in which case you want to watch my Excel training videos. But for something basic, like let's do averaging. Now notice that when I select average, it adds it in addition to the sum above. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and delete that so we just have one function, not two. Make sure that you always have the equals in there because it won't work without it. So I deleted the sum above. Now I got the average and inside the parentheses, let me use my arrow key to get within there. So I have my cursor flashing in between the uh, two parentheses. I want to average up the range to the left. Pretty simple, right? Choose the number format, and let's do the same number format that we've always used. Click OK, and cool. So the average between these three cells is $734. Let me do something a bit more advanced. Let me go ahead and delete that. And let's say that I want to add up, not a consecutive range of cells, but like, let's say, quarter one and quarter three. Two cells separated by another cell here. So to do that, come up here, click on the Formula button and it wants to do sum above because it sees the number above. It also has numbers over to the left hand side so keep that in mind if you want to go ahead and just add up the range of cells to the left. You'll have to manually come in and make that change from above to the left. But I don't want to add up above. I don't want to add to the left at least everything to the left. I want to go ahead and choose these two cells. Now if you watch my Excel training videos you'll know, let me come down here and open up the Excel program, that all the columns are labeled with the letters A, B, C, D all the way down, and it goes on forever. And all the rows are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? Keep that in mind, so let me close out. You want to picture that, even though it doesn't show it here, the same way as it has in the Excel program. So the first column is A, B, C, D, and so on. And the rows here are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I want to choose this cell, what column and what row is it in? The column is, well, A, B. So I want to come in here delete above and type in B, so it's column B, 
and what row? One, two, three. So go ahead and type in three. Now I want to add up that cell and get the name for the other cell, which is going to be what column? A, B, C, D. Now I just don't type it right together. I want to separate it by a comma. So it's D. Let's go ahead and do D. And it's in the same row, right? One, two, three. So let's go ahead and type in three. And what number format do we want? Let's go ahead and choose that one. So does that make sense? It wants to sum up cells B3 and D3. Click OK and cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.